Hi Patty, I found a lot of happy dogs and a lot of happy people. These dog treats are human grade, but they would need a little salt for you and I to eat them. The dogs don't mind though. In fact, the shelter says it's making them better behaved. Sit. Good boy. For things like treats, um, we rely on donation. That's not something that we can roll into the budget. And to have a steady supply coming in at all times, it's, it's wonderful. Dog Come treats on, straight from the cafeteria? Makes you feel good. Michelle Reinemann at Community Health Howard says her team got the idea from a food magazine. He put flour over the top of They called the, the Board of Health and even veterinary chemists to make sure they had a doggy safe recipe. Oh, we can't put great. Then showed me how it's done. So we take the waste and we just grind it up and then it comes over and then we puree it even finer. We put it in the mixer, add the flour and roll it out. Then we take our fancy dog bone and you just cut the cookie shapes up. Typically it takes about 45 minutes um, in the oven and that's what your finished product looks like. I wasn't kidding when I said they're human grade. <laughs> This batch had cauliflower, melons, and strawberries. If they have leftover meatloaf, that goes in too. Most of the dogs liked it. You know, there was a couple that they said were kind of finicky eaters anyway. And it's doing more than just filling their bellies. Socializing dogs that are not, not that friendly when they first come here, we can hang a, a bucket of treats on their kennel and have everybody that comes through give them a treat and then they see, oh, people are nice. The Humane Society says they're grateful for the help and happy to see the community coming together. I, I wish we could do more to help their, their direction, but I don't think they want us sending leftover dog food. <laughs> The hospital didn't leave out cats either. The edges of the treat bait can be broken up into smaller pieces and then fed to the felines who are waiting for adoption. If you'd like to start your own Scraps to Treats program, we put that information on our website. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Brenna Donnelly.